Hey, 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 Scorpio, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Wednesday, April 29th to the 30th Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, of course, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below there, Scorpio, if you would, before you leave. I do appreciate it. And thank you so much for all of your likes, shares, and subscriptions. If you guys are interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. All right, Scorpio, I am going to grab four cards here, and then I am going to get a channeled message from Spirit just for you. All right, Spirit, what's going on for my Scorpios? April 29th to the 30th we have the four of wands the wheel of fortune the six of pentacles and the five of cups at the bottom of the deck we have the eight of swords okay let's get this message from spirits Be sensible when determining your next step forward, Scorpio. That's what I'm hearing. Un momento, Ted. Am I hearing that right? Loving will keep you alive. I had to ask them, am I hearing that right? And they said, yes. I feel like they're wanting to remind you that the, like the energy behind love, right? We are love. So remembering, okay, thank you. Remembering who you are and what you are, which is love, okay, is what will keep you going. So a constant reminder, I don't know what's wrong with that, is what is needed here, okay? It's going to keep that, that spark going within you, okay? And you may need it. You may, they're saying you may need to be reminded of that. So, okay. Un momento, Ted. All right, so you've got the Four of Wands here, and right above it is the Wheel of Fortune. Wheel of Fortune is ruled by Jupiter, and Jupiter is the planet of luck and expansion, Scorpio. Four of Wands is the marriage card, also Twin Flame card, and it is the card of foundations, right? And I feel like you're being led to your destiny, Scorpio. Something you're supposed to be doing on this path is going to lead you to your foundation. Now, something is making you sad. I feel like for some of you, you may be in a relationship where all you're receiving is breadcrumbs. Or you could possibly, this could be something you're thinking about that already happened in the past. Let me clarify. Clarify this Wheel of Fortune, please, for Scorpio. Four of Pentacles. Another four. Foundation has been on your mind. Building of a foundation. Eight of Pentacles work. I told you, this is, has to do with your destiny. And King of Pentacles, Taurus energy, which has to do with building a foundation. So this is very much at the forefront of your mind. Don't hold back. Okay, don't hold back. Whatever you want to do, just go for it. Clarify this five of um, cups, though. Such contrast in energy. The fool energy. I feel like you took a leap of faith on somebody, something. You've got the hermit energy, and you've also got the ace of wands. Clarifying the six of pentacles, which is the Libra card. This was somebody you were passionate about. This is somebody that you actually, I feel like you're going within. This could be somebody at a distance. Clarify the Six of Pentacles. Ooh. Ten of Swords. Okay. This is something that already happened, 
Queen of Pentacles. It could have been a Capricorn, but this was an ending that occurred. And I feel that the reason why this broke up is because it wasn't, there wasn't even reciprocity. For most of you, I feel like this already happened and you're reflecting on this. I'm not sure what this sort of has to do with your destiny and you're a foundation, or perhaps you're just looking within with this hermit energy and trying to find a missing piece, right? Is there anybody in love coming towards Scorpio? Knight of Pentacles, somebody's coming. Could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. They're taking their time, but the thing about the Knight of Pentacles is they are the slowest moving knight in the deck, but when they arrive, they have in hand something that is lasting it's a promise right it's a promise for a sincere and heartfelt and grounded future there's substance to it page of pentacles in the moon Ooh, is there i think there's a message that's hidden from you scorpio i'm not sure if maybe you block somebody and you can't see this message king of cups yeah, this is a message of love. This is hidden from you because you have them blocked on some media platform. Now, if you don't want to see it, you don't want to see it. But it is a message of love. They want to start a new cycle with you. Okay, but you're a little bit defensive about this. This is Sagittarius energy. This is the person at a distance. I All right, all right this is why this is showing up. This person wants another chance with you. Yep, they want a commitment. Damn. Damn, Scorpio. They want a commitment with you. That's Taurus energy. That's also a higher spiritual calling. You could have a spiritual connection with this individual. But I would caution you, though, because of this Six of Pentacles, you don't want to be fed breadcrumbs if this is what occurred in the past. If you were the receiver of these breadcrumbs, you know, they only wanted to hit you up when it was when when they had time for you right you're worth more than that what else ten of wands yeah this is going to weigh heavy on your mind scorpio i feel that when you were with this person scorpio it already weighed heavy on you it it felt like a burden because you felt like, what I'm feeling is you felt like you had to fight for this person's attention all the time. It's, it's like, it should just come naturally, right? Temperance. Now this talks about change. This talks about embracing change and healing. So I do feel you're trying to heal this relationship now. What I'm hearing is you may want to look at this message if, if, okay, um, you're interested in healing. If there's something, maybe there's one question you want to ask this person. You don't need to get back together with this person if you don't wish to. I'll find out if they've changed in a minute um, because they do want a new chance with you. But for the healing sake and closure, I would suggest you take a peek at this. So has this person changed? Six of Wands. I think their confidence have raised, has raised. So I would say yes. Give me one more. I think they're connected to spirituality a little bit more than they were. They've been peeping on you, on your social media. And they, they have more optimism about the future. They're more action oriented. They're, they're really itching to get forward and to move forward in a new direction with you. So I would say yes. So if you, if you feel this too, when you see this message and you interact with them, know that it's not an act. I don't feel it's an act. It is heartfelt. It is truthful. I think they will realize that they were feeding you breadcrumbs. And I think this is an epiphany that they've received via the hair font here. So what is your advice, Spirit, 
when dealing with this person. Knight of Cups. Open your heart to them and see what happens. That's what I'm hearing. Five of Swords. Time to put the pettiness aside and start a new chapter. They just said learn to trust. Yeah, healing. Healing. Three of Swords at the bottom of... Um, three of Swords. Tower energy. This is your energy, Scorpio, rising from the ashes. Sometimes you need to just blow shit up and go kablooey in order to rebuild something great, something fantastic. Something to talk about, right? And it could be rebuilding with this individual, but you have to completely demolish what was, okay? And I feel like you had a huge head start on this, letting it go. And then all of a sudden this person comes in, okay? You're trying to put a cap on the healing. They want another shot. So, you going to give them something to talk about or what? Is it a yes or is it a no? It's all up to you, Scorpio. All right. I hope that made sense. I hope it resonated. Please drop a like below, share, and subscribe if you already haven't. If you're interested in a personal reading with me, the information is in the description box below. You have yourself a great day, Scorpio, and I'll talk to you guys tomorrow.